um, I'm so excited to be coming back on. I'm gonna try my best to come on every week, guys, but I just can't promise. All right, because my schedule is crazy. But um, I, you know, this is really hard for me before I get back to my schedule, okay? Because I came up in radio and in the theater. And so with radio, which is really cool is I could talk into the mic and I could overemphasize and be highly dramatic because you're listening to my voice. But now some of you guys are watching me too. So what I would do on camera is not what I would do, you know, just with you listening to my voice. So if I'm a little over dramatic, just pray for me and just know, okay, I got the radio thing going. Y'all can see the mic here on Spotify and I got the, um, the camera thing going yeah well anyway I haven't been on in a little bit so I've been really really busy as you guys know I run a couple of businesses so sometimes it get a little hard and I'm acting too it gets a little tough to be you know still on these social media streets but anywho um I'm so glad you guys have stuck with me and um, I'm going to be answering some relationship questions that come in. And if you want to send your relationship questions, please send it, send it to info, I-N-F-O at wisecourtship.com. That's W-I-S-E-C-O-U-R-T-S-H-I-P.com. And I would be glad to answer your question. So the question for today is going to be amazing. Because, you know, um, we talk a lot here about having whole relationships, wonderful relationships that are satisfying and gratifying to you. And um, I think we've done a wonderful job since 2013, actually, uh, giving out this wise courtship message. And um, we just helped so many people around the world. So many of you are listening now. You guys have been with me for about eight years when I was on Periscope. Uh, talking about this, of course, Facebook, YouTube, um, all of the social media platforms. Y'all got to pray for my Instagram. Okay. Go ahead and join Wise Courtship on Instagram. I'm all over social media, but um, I haven't been doing too much on Instagram. So y'all got to help me out. Okay. Show me what I need to be doing. I just been too busy. That's what it is. <laughs> But anyway, join me on Instagram too. But um, we've been trying to get the message out because I want you to have satisfying whole relationships, great relationships, okay? Now, when I say relationships, we talk about family, friendship, business relationships, relationships with yourself, God, and your money. But uh, dear ones, we mainly talk about romantic relationships and really you don't want to have too many of them, okay? Because every time you have one, your heart gets broken and all of that, all right? Um, and I'm going to be talking about, in a few moments, I'm going to be talking about what does a healthy relationship look like? What does a healthy relationship look like? And that's such a great and important question. And we're going to get to it in just a moment. <clears throat> But before we do, I want to make sure that you are following me on all social media platforms. Make sure that you connect with me. Listen, um, many of you have gotten my book, Wise Courtship. Wise Courtship, um, you can get at wisecourtship.com. You can go to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, it's anywhere books are sold. And that book has a three-step system that's going to help you determine the true character and true intent of your love interest, okay? You're not going to be guessing. You're going to know for sure if this person is right for you and if they are the person that they say they are. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want to acknowledge also too, before we get into what we're going to talk about, I want to acknowledge, um, Matthew Evans, uh, who sings the theme song and also hijack AKA Sean Mayers, my son, mm -hmm, they came up with the actual music. And so you could check both of them out on Spotify. Hijack is H I I J A C K. All right. Make sure you check out his music. You know, you got the right one when you see never understand his new song jump is out. Um, when you see songs like that, okay, that's him. And I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to love him. And also Matthew Evans, awesome, awesome, awesome. So make sure you check him out too as well. So with that being a said, let's get into the contact, okay? The content. <laughs> let's get into the content, all right? Okay. 
what does a healthy relationship look like? You know, far too, uh, far too often, um, people who are trying to have these great relationships come out of relationships that weren't too great. Or they possibly, their parents had wonderful relationship, but maybe they didn't pay attention or maybe because their own proclivities, you know, their own um, situations, their own selfishness, maybe, or their own ideas, um, their own misunderstandings, or some terrible thing that may have happened to them along the way may have curbed their um, idea of what a great relationship is. And um, very often is derailed sometimes by selfishness. You guys have been in relationships with people possibly who have been selfish and you just don't know why they think the way they think. Sometimes that's not their parents' fault. Sometimes that's something that they have accumulated through the years or maybe just how their personality is. Um, but listen, it's easier to know what a great relationship is when it's been modeled before you. Because when you had bad relationships modeled before you, to me, you can only go one way or the other. The one way is you could follow in their footsteps, do all the wrong things, um, and just really not think about it or don't care about how you're hurting people or how you are hurting yourself in the end. Or you could say, you know what? My parents had a terrible relationship or a non-existent relationship, and I don't want this for myself. I'm going to do better. I'm going to do differently. And so for those people, I say, bravo, congratulations to you, because it's really difficult to, um, to, dis to come up with a great relationship when it has not been modeled for you. Okay. Um, but then there's people who have parents who model a gr great relationship before them, but they're not paying attention or they're too selfish or they're too self-absorbed or they have other things that has happened to them that changes their view or changes their direction when it comes to having healthy relationships. But I'm going to say all around the way to have a healthy relationship is for you to be healthy. It's really hard to detect what healthy is when you yourself are not healthy or have not come across someone or something that has been healthy, right? And so um, if you've been eating wrong all your life and, and, you, and that's just the way it is, it's hard for you to determine that that's unhealthy unless you start having problems in your own health or you come across other people who are healthy and they say, wait a minute, that is not a healthy way to eat, right? And so um, this is what a healthy relationship looks like. One is that you yourself are healthy. You do whatever you need to do emotionally, spiritually, um, physically, financially, mentally. You do all you can to be optimum, to be the best you can be at the moment and at the stage that you're in. If you're listening to me today, and I got a lot of millennials listening to me, God bless you. I love you guys. <laughs> Make sure you stay tuned with me. I know you guys will follow me on social media. Make sure you follow me because um, when you send these questions, honey, I tell you like a TI is, okay? Because um, I want you to win. Um, when you are 17 or 18 years old and you're in a rela relationship, um, you can only be as healthy as you can for that age, okay? And then when you are 37, you ought to be a little healthier, you know, but sometimes people fall back. Sometimes a 17-year-old is much more mature than a 37-year-old because they have not done the work. They have grown up physically. They've done everything on the outside of their body to make that look right. And that may not even be healthy per se. It may just look good on the outside, but they've done what they needed to do on the outside, but they have not done what they needed to do on the inside or with their character or what, or their emotional health. Okay. And so, um, you, you need to be as healthy as you possibly can for the stage and age that you are in. So important, so important. Um, you need to look at all of the different avenues of your life. And I have taught a course on this. And, and by the way, if you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put the link there for you where you can um, get this, um, where you can get the information you can get on my e-store. But if you're listening to me, go to wisecourtship.com and look under uh, courses and coaching, I believe is a tab, and you can follow down and find the, co the courses. And they're going to be up under the, um, 
I think the e-store. So check that out and you can find these courses that I'm talking about. But um, I taught a course on, you know, really getting yourself totally whole so that you can um, choose well for your life. You know, um, I found when I was touring with Wise Courtship, when I was touring and giving speeches about the book, I found, I wrote the book from the premise that you are ready. You are ready to be in a relationship. You are ready to walk down the aisle. You are ready to have this long-term serious relationship with someone. But when I got out there, I found out that a lot of people were not ready, even if they thought they were. And so what I found is that there were a lot of hurting people who wanted to connect with someone but out of their own hurt, out of their own desperations, out of their own mistakes, they were constantly <clears throat> really sabotaging their ability to have a wonderful relationship. They were just digging themselves in deeper because there were some things going on within themselves that they needed to, to work out and to be healed from. And so um, I taught this course that talked about getting yourself whole as possible, as possible, you know, as possible, much as possible is what I want to say as much as possible, because when none of us are perfect, we are all still working on ourselves, including me, still working on myself, still trying to get better. Um, but we have to do the work. So when we are trying to get someone, let's say marry someone or um, have a long-term relationship with someone, who child, he rich, Ooh, he rich, he got him some money, child, he is rich. When it's all about that, and yet you are in debt. You need to work on your debt, not worry about somebody else's riches getting you out of debt. You need to work on your debt. What is your emotional um, IQ? You know, if your emotions are all over the place and you can't control your anger, you can't control your lying tongue or your gossiping tongue. If you are got a bad attitude, you cute, but you got a bad attitude. These are the things that you need to work on because if you don't work on those things, all they're going to do is rear their ugly head and you're going to find yourself alone. I don't care how cute you are. You will end up alone eventually if you don't work on that attitude. Mm, I'm teaching y'all. I'm teaching real good on today. Okay. But anyway, these are the things that we need to work on in order to get this healthy <clears throat> relationship. A healthy relationship does not necessarily look like someone else's. And so you already have an unhealthy relationship when you compare yours to someone else's. I said something right there. And far too often, women, we could be guilty of this. Ooh, honey, if you could just be like him, if you could be, or the guy, if you could be like her, soon as you do that, you've got an unhealthy relationship. An un, a healthy relationship respects the person and loves the person and likes the person the way that they are. The way that they come to you, that's the way you like them, okay? You're not trying to rebuild them, retrain them. You're not trying to fix them all up. And sometimes we as women are known for that. We try to change everything about that person. And let me just say, ladies, that love is not controlling either. If he's telling you what to wear and how, where to go and who to hang with, that is not love. That's control. Okay. And you've got to know the difference. A healthy relationship looks like two people who are um, confident in themselves. When you have low self-esteem, you are destined to have a horrible relationship. It's just not going to work, okay? If it ends up working at the end, it's you went like this. You, I mean, and by the time you get to the end of the road with this rocky relationship going up and down, up and down, up and down, by the time you get to the end of the road, the other partner is dead tired of you. And if by chance y'all stay together, it's not going to be no romance or anything. Y'all just there. Okay. Because you put them, I mean, just think about it. If you've been, if you've been driving or walking down a rough, rugged pothole road, when you get to the end of it, you tired. Okay. You're not thinking about no kissing, no hugging, no anything. You think about getting some sleep because you are tuckered and you are tired. And so this is the same thing in the relationship. So you have to have enough self-esteem in yourself too. Both people need to be confident. 
There shouldn't be any competition one with the other. You ought to know who you are and be confident in who you are. And so I don't advise getting into a relationship unless you're confident, unless you know who you are, unless you know where you're going. Unless you got you achieved, you achieved your dreams, or you are on the path of achieving your dreams. Okay, you know who you are, and you don't need anybody else to be trying to mold you and shape you into who they think you ought to be. A healthy relationship of two people that respect each other. Oh my gosh, you know, you don't talk to them any kind of way. They don't talk to you any kind of way. They are special in your sight, okay? You appreciate that they are spending their time and their life with you and they feel the same way about you, okay? Because no, nobody need, nobody has to love you, child. Nobody have to put up with you, okay? That doesn't mean that they should treat, you should be so grateful that they treat you like a doormat. I'm not saying that, okay? But I am saying be grateful and be kind and be kind, loving to uh, one to the other, okay? You have to respect each other. All right. You have to respect their dream. You have to respect their parents. You have to respect their family. And let me just tell you, when uh, when we do when we do this wise courtship thing where we uh, read the book, because you'll know what I'm talking about. When we start going through step one, anything that you're trying to find out, anything you're trying to learn about the person that you want to spend your forever time with, you need to find out about their parents too and their family. Because don't think that just because uh, you get with them that you're not marrying their family. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> yes, you are. You are marrying their family child and you are going to be connected to them. All right. In some way. Now, sure, they could come from a dysfunctional family and the person you're connecting with say, you know what, I ain't going to have nothing to do with them. And that happens. But you need to know that. Right. You need to know that up front. You need to do your homework, your due diligence to know if that's going to occur, all right? And to know if they're really, they mean what they say. But other than that, you're going to see them and you're going to see them sometimes too. Sometimes people just pop over. You need to have an understanding about that. Sometimes you're just going to see them, you know, on the holidays. They need to be an understanding about that. I know I'm kind of talking all in general, but there's so much to this, guys. There's so much to this you know, about what a healthy and happy relationship looks like. It's not perfect. So we need to stop with this going to be perfect. A healthy um, relationship is not a perfect one, but it's a good one. Okay. You're going to have ups and downs. Sometimes the person will get on your nerves, but it's not going to be all this yelling. Sometimes you will disagree, but all this fussing and fighting, that's not good. Somebody say that's not good. All that fussing and fighting is not good. Disagreement you will have because you are two different people, okay? And most likely you guys are gonna be two opposites, two opposites, okay? And you don't need to change each other because the reason why you're opposites is because whenever you put opposites together, you're going to be much stronger because whatever you're lacking, they have. And whatever they have, you don't, okay? And so that makes you strong because your back is taken care of. Your weaknesses are covered, all right? And your strength um, becomes their strength because they don't need to have that strength. You got it. And if you work together instead of against each other, you're gonna be a strong team. So you don't wanna change them. So if you love them, don't just love them, honey. You need to like them too, okay? <laughs> you need to really, really like them and really like spending time with them, okay? Without all the touching and kissing and hugging, that's the fun part. But beside that, if you never could touch, kiss, hug, whatever, would you want to spend time with this person? Would you still want to be with them? Because happy is not all healthy and healthy is not all about that they're cute, okay? That doesn't mean it's going to be a healthy relationship just because they're cute. They could be cute, fine, all that, all day long, honey. And they could be killer dilla. Mm -hmm. She could be real good looking and got a gun right up under that pillow. When you go to sleep and you wake up and see it right beside you, that's not good, okay? I don't care how cute she is. And so uh, if, you, if, you, um, if you work hard and every time you turn around and you put money in the bank, he's taking all the money out, that's not good. That's not a healthy relationship. 
All right. So a healthy relationship is one where you love, you like, you respect. You also, um, you work together. You work together, not against each other. You are a team. You are there for each other's best interest. All right. You are there to help each other get ahead, not just for you to get ahead, not just for him or her to get ahead, but for both of you to get ahead together. That doesn't mean that y'all got to go to everything together. You got to be in every, in, in, uh, and if he's in this sport, you in it too. That doesn't mean you got to wear matching shirts. It doesn't mean any of that stuff because everybody wants to be an individual, even though we are a couple. It means when I say too, I want to get back to this respect thing too. If there are certain things that bothers your partner other than control, okay, we're not talking about control here because there's a fine line. But if there's something that bothers your partner, why are you doing it? If there's a person that gets on your partner's nerves and you know they're doing stuff, why are you still connected to them? It's, it's just really thinking about the person thoroughly and completely. This person that you are in relationship with ought to be able to be a good father, ought to be able to be a good mother, okay? Time out, guys time out for us connecting with people and they make bad fathers and they make mad bad mothers let's time out for the baby mama drama okay for the baby papa drama it's time out for all of that all right not looking down on anybody if you got five uh baby daddies stop it at five honey okay <laughs> Let's get this under control, all right? Let's not lay down with anybody unless they are going to make a great father and a great husband. Let's not lay down with any woman unless she's going to be a great mother and a great wife. Because you know what? One thing I don't have to worry about, and it's not saying I'm better than anybody. It's not saying that. It's just that I was blessed to make the right choices at the right time because this is something I saw that I didn't want to deal with. I didn't feel like looking over my shoulder, honey, to see what the baby daddy going to be doing all that. I said, look, I'm going to get one husband and this husband going to be the father of all my children because <laughs> I'm not going to be dealing with all this. So if he act ignorant later, then I can deal with just one ignorant person. All right. <laughs> but I'm going to do everything in my power to see that he's going to be the right person. Okay. And that, that alleviates so much, so many problems, so many headaches, and your money doesn't fly out the window. Listen, brothers, listen, you will never acquire any wealth in your life if you're paying off all these baby mamas, okay? You need to choose one and stick to one. And I know for some of y'all, y'all like, she is being real preachy, but let me tell you something. One thing I will tell you, I will tell you the truth. And I will tell you something that's going to make you win. And if by chance you got five baby mamas, you got 10 of them, you got 17, you got 20, you can stop right there and move forward to do better. Because I want you to win. What a healthy relationship looks like is one where you can exhale and you can say, yeah, this feels good. This feels right. I can be myself. Is it always perfect? No. Is it always right? Do I have to sacrifice sometimes? Yes. Do I have to, you know, sometimes I don't get a chance to go where I want and they have to go or they have to go to school and now I got to work or I'm working while they, you know, they're working while I'm having the babies or whatever, but we work together so that we can win as a team. We can get ahead as a team. This is what a healthy relationship looks like. And dear ones, you can have one too. If you subscribe to the Wise Courtship Philosophy, that means you want, you want whole relationships and you're going to do the work necessary so that you can have the relationship that you always dreamed of. You can have it, dear ones. Well, I gotta go. I gotta go. It's been an awesome and amazing time with each and every one of you. But remember, you can visit me on the web at www.wisecourtship.com. I'm on social media just about everywhere. It's Wise Courtship or Tony Henderson Mayers. All you have to do is Google me. Just know that I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. And remember, I hope you detect a lover worth living with. Bye.
Hey, thanks a lot for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to try to upload videos as much as possible. So make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. Take care. Are you subscribed to the Wise Courtship Philosophy? Then you need to get your Wise Courtship gear at the Wise Courtship store. Go to bit.ly forward slash Wise Courtship store. All the letters are lowercase. They make amazing gifts from children, adults, men and women, jewelry, hats, cell phone cases, t-shirts, and more. Represent Wise Courtship by going to bit.ly forward slash Wise Courtship Store.